What's up guys, Coach here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. So if you're ever in the area, come check out the gym. It's not just where I train, it's where everybody who trains who wants to become stronger. So in this video, I'm just gonna do my back day, doing some different exercises, I'll talk a little bit about that. But what this video primarily is gonna be about is me answering your questions that you guys submitted on the YouTube community tab. Uh, and it, they're not really fitness related. So I'm just answering questions that you asked, get to know me a little bit more, uh, and we'll go from there. So first thing we're starting with is gonna be uh, basically some rack pulls, um, a little bit lower than a typical rack height, but I wanna get some more deadlifting style uh, training in just to kind of get back into a little bit more compound lift movements. And then we're using the uh, Mike Bartos Power Center platform, so the PR platform. Uh, this thing's an absolute beast, has a ton of different attachments for bands or different uh, heights for the bar. We have something for when we're doing stiff leg deadlifts. So highly recommend this if you're involved with strength training or you want to utilize uh, this platform for maximal capabilities to increase any sort of pulling or deadlifting, etc. So let's get right to it. All right, so I just got these uh, Versa grips. All right, these things are freaking awesome. Uh, I wanna see how they work with deadlifts. I've used them in the past for things like lat pull downs, uh, dumbbell rows, barbell rows, etc. cetera. Uh, but I just wanna try them out. They're, they're great, uh, just cause they're a lot easier than doing regular wrist wraps. And they get this grippy texture right here, which just hooks underneath the bar and you're ready to rock and roll. First question is asked by QQ Yoko. Uh, it's gonna be, what is your favorite vacation you've ever taken? So to be honest with you, I have a couple. Uh, one was when I was younger, I went to the British Virgin Islands with my family. That was just a really cool experience. We were on a resort that was basically a volcano. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful place to be. Had a blast. Uh, another really fun vacation that stands out in my mind was when I was out of college, some of my best friends, my hometown friends and I, uh, we did this like road trip uh, to the Niagara Falls and then we were doing stuff in the mountains, quadding, all sorts of craziness, but it was just really cool because we hadn't seen each other in such a long time. Um, we really got to hang out and bond and it was just epic to go to the Niagara Falls uh, and just check out the scenery. I'm a big nature guy and I love just beautiful sights, taking in beautiful sights. All right, next question is gonna be from Leo Hernandez, 2245. Question was, what are your favorite um, shows slash movies? So when it comes to shows, I'm a huge 80s guy. So I love actually all the old 80s action movies. But if we're talking about today, I love things like Stranger Things, one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, I also just binged The Last of Us, which is based off the video game. Thought that was phenomenal. And then when it comes to movies, I really like things like Lord of the Rings. Uh, I've also, back to TV shows, have watched Game of Thrones, obviously. Uh, but then going back to movies, one of my favorite directors is Christopher Nolan. So pretty much anything Christopher Nolan's put out, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, and then I just like things like Step Brothers, any ad old Adam Sandler movies, it's just like goofy, lighthearted, fun stuff. Uh, so thanks for asking. Guys, another question from I'm Big Two. Are you a cigar and whiskey guy? So, I actually do smoke cigars. I actually belong to a cigar lounge. So that's kind of like when I'm trying to chill or relax, I head over there, hang out with the boys, smoke a few cigars. I really like anything by Padron. Uh, I like some Rocky Patels, and I also like uh, Olivas. Uh, so those are kind of like my go-tos. Uh, whiskey, I don't drink that much, but if I do drink, I do like pairing up a nice cigar with some bourbon. Uh, I like things like Buffalo Trace. I like uh, Basil Hayden. Elijah Craig, and then uh, Jefferson's Ocean. Some of my go-tos, just throwing them out there. So, there you go. So, Samuel Jones, 2878 asks, are you ever gonna go back and defend your strongman title? Chases are pretty likely, okay? At some point, uh, right now, very focused on the business. I also am a high school lacrosse coach, so it's a very busy time for me right now. And I'm also working on just getting my body healthy, you know, aches, pains, old injuries, making sure I'm, I'm where I need to be. And then once that happens and things are aligned in the right way, I'll probably start doing another prep for that. Um, still have some other things that I wanna dabble in at some point, just right now. It's a matter of like how I'm periodizing my life when it comes to my job and then what I'm passionate about and my hobbies, etc. So 
one day, yes, for sure. So I just did uh, four sets, eight reps, 315. Just trying to get, like I said, a little bit more volume. Uh, my glutes are actually smoked from a workout I did two days ago, which there's a YouTube video above you can check out where I do three exercises on hitting my glutes and my hamstrings. So definitely feeling the residual soreness doing these today. Uh, but I like doing this also just to kind of get my, my back and my upper back a little bit uh, stimulated because now we're gonna go do some dumbbell rows. So looking for three sets, uh, anywhere from you know 10 to 12 reps uh, with this exercise. We'll bang these out and answer some questions on YouTube. All right, question is from Logan uh, Palmer995. How long did it take you to get your foot in the door to opening your own gym? And how long after that until you knew how to keep the business going? Everyone dreams of owning a gym, but most don't understand the stressors and resources required to do so, including me. Great question, okay? First off, I'm doing a gym tour video coming out, and we're gonna cover where the gym was, how it started, to where it's at today. So I'll talk about a lot of things, so stay tuned for that video. Secondly, there's something I say, and I've said it for a long time, it's you can't get a girl half pregnant. So what I mean by that is if you're gonna go in something, you go all the way. And that's basically what I do with my business. And a lot of people, right, we talk about stress or the unknown. That's life, okay? It's gonna be any job or occupation you work. Instead, what I like to do is get curious. I like to learn along the way, okay? Those obstacles that I face are only making myself better and making me uh, just accomplish what I'm looking to accomplish. So for you, if it's something that you wanna do and you're passionate about it, I always am about throwing people into the fire, okay? Because if you don't do that, you'll live with the regret of not knowing what could have been or what would have happened if you took that opportunity. So there's my answer. Stay tuned for more content coming out about that. Thanks, man. All right, so Kevin Welch, 8040 asks, what will be your last meal if you were on death row? Well, first off, I hope I'm not on death row. Uh, secondly, I like a lot of food. My first word was not mom or dad, it was more. And they were feeding me, so I said more. So there's a fun fact for you. Um, but I like sushi. I could eat a ton of sushi. I like burgers. Uh, big fan of just pizza, donuts. Uh, I like pancakes. And what else would I do to, to add, add to the top of that? Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just like a birthday cake because, you know, who doesn't want to have a birthday cake before they get killed? I mean, I do. So yeah, there you go. So Ben Holmes 2533 asks favorite slash most anabolic workout music. So I actually have some playlists on Spotify. You guys can check them out. I'll link them below in this video. Uh, but when it comes to training hard and heavy, like strongman stuff, I just love metal, metal core, or stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to conditioning, I actually like EDM or just like some sort of consistent beat type music. Uh, big fan of things like Kazo, uh, Slander, those kind of guys in, in the EDM world. Um, but to be honest with you, I love so much music. It's really hard to like pinpoint specific stuff. It really depends on the mood and the vibe I'm going for. Uh, but great question. Check out those playlists. I appreciate you. All right, Paul Carr 993 says or asked, ever skateboard or do BMX? So I used to have a ton of skateboards and actually a couple BMX bikes, but I was absolutely terrible. Uh, at both of them. You know, I, I thought it was cool. I had fun just riding my skateboard. When it comes to doing like tricks, I can only do like an ollie and I think I've landed kickflip like three times in my entire life. Uh, and anytime I've gone on a ramp or a rail, it just ends miserably. But the, only, the other thing that I can do though, is I can snowboard. So ironically enough, I'm a pretty decent snowboarder and I can do jumps and rails on a snowboard. But for some reason, the skateboard 
since it was not connected to my body, I guess, it just didn't work out that way. All right, Minority Voice uh, 9253 asks, do you believe in God? Yes, I actually do believe in God. Uh, and the, one of the weirdest ways I can explain this is, if you've ever seen Osmosis Jones, where it's literally they're like fighting a war like inside of Bill Murray, who's the body, right? It's like, it shows you what's going on on a small scale, and then it zooms out and there's a big scale, right? And if you've ever seen Men in Black, right, where the cat on the keychain has the entire universe inside a keychain. So my mind thinks that whatever we perceive, right, there's a pulled out version of that, and a pulled out version of that, and I think it has to come down to some sort of creator. I don't think this all just happened purely by just chance. Like, and it just, I don't know, like it doesn't sit right with me. So yes, I do believe there's a God, we're a creator of all this, and we're just a part of such a bigger picture, if that makes sense. All right, uh, we're gonna wrap this uh, workout up. We're gonna do some, some lateral raises. I'll probably do like a one count pause at the top. Anywhere from 12 to 15 reps, we'll do three sets, uh, and then we'll conclude that. Like I said in my other back video, I've been doing biceps uh, as its own separate workout, either later in the day or before I do my leg day training. So just trying to uh, keep it simple, keep it concise, get the volume needed in for the adaptations, uh, and then that's it. All right, Patrick Hull, 2590 asks, do you play TTRPGs like Dungeons and Dragons? If not, would you ever consider playing? What character type uh, do you see yourself as? So, something we've always wanted to do here at the Den was start Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and I would also bring in people I collaborate with and they would have, just have to play as a character when they come over for a collaboration. So I think it's kind of funny if you had like myself, maybe a random member from the gym, somebody like uh, Juji in here and then whoever else, and we have to live stream us playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, if I did play, which I have in the past, usually I'm a knight, uh, and I have a whole accent and a get up that I go with. So I think it's something that's probably gonna happen at some point. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So yes, I have, and we probably most likely will. All right guys, so just wanna have some fun, answer some of the questions from you guys who support me on YouTube. So thank you so much. Uh, but if you guys wanna try that workout, you're more than welcome to. Hopefully you found some interesting things that I said about myself or just my viewpoints on things. And feel free to comment down below, okay? Lastly, if you guys are looking for programming, we have all the links down below. We have the programming app, we have a la carte app, uh, programs, so check those out. And then we have our Discord server, which is growing steadily, awesome community hub for like-minded individuals who wanna get better in the gym and in life. Uh, so check that out. And as always, stay a lean, mean, strength machine. Catch up with you guys next time. Peace.